This is the instructional video for the odds and ends poncho elongated stitches. I've cast on 12 stitches and I will be working in flat for this video, but I will just flip the stitches on the other side of my circular needle and uh, work with this as if I was knitting on, in the round. First row that we need to do to achieve the elongated stitches is we need we need to knit one stitch and then we have to make three yarn overs one two three three yarn overs knit into the second stitch Again, three yarn overs, one, two, three, one, two, three, knit into the next stitch. Repeat the same pattern for the rest of the round or row, in my case, two, three, and knit and keep going until you're done with all of them three yarn overs knit three yarn overs knit three yarn overs knit three yarn overs knit and this is what it's going to look like. Let's finish the row. One, two, three. One, two, three. And knit. One, two, three. Knit. And the last one, one, two, three, there's three yarn overs, and knit. So this is the first row or round, and now I'm going to just flip it to the other side of my circular needles. And if I was knitting on the round as if I'm knitting on the round. I'll just leave a little strand of yarn there and start knitting. So the second row or round, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knit into the first stitch and then I have to knit one stitch right below these three yarn overs. So here's where I have my three yarn overs and I am knitting into the space below and then I am releasing or dropping the yarn overs. And I am knitting into the next stitch and at this point the yarn will distribute between yarn overs and stitches and again, here's my three yarn overs right here, and I'm knitting right below it, releasing all of the yarn overs. That's the elongated stitch made out of the yarn overs. Knit into the next stitch, and again, knit into the yarn overs or below the yarn overs and releasing them. Knit again into the stitch, the next stitch on the left needle, and then knit right below the yarn overs, like that, releasing the yarn overs. Knit the next stitch, knit below yarn overs, release all of the yarn overs. 
knit next stitch, knit below the yarn overs, and release the yarn overs, and keep going to the end of the row or around. Again, knit into below the yarn overs and release the yarn overs. Knit next stitch, knit right below the yarn overs and release them. I have a few more stitches left and then I will show you what it's going to look like. Knit into the stitch and knit right below yarn overs, releasing them. Knit into the stitch and knit below yarn overs and the last stitch. Now that we've worked the whole row or around, this is what it's going to look like. The yarn already distributed between yarn overs and stitches, and that's what it's going to look like.